Hello everybody, I'm Bonnie Leota. And when I saw how the Creating Champions for Life philosophy that was developed by Thomas Leota worked with my kids, the results were so amazing and so positive that we had to take the information that was going to die with him and organize it into a book form and into a home study system. Well, the Parnell family are taking part in the home study system and they've qualified for a one-on-one -on -one family coaching session with Tom. So let's go inside and see if we can turn uh, defiance, laziness, and demanding into happy, successful, and grateful children. Come on, let's go. Hello. Hello. Sorry, were we waiting out here long? About 20 minutes. <laughs> so like tonight, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be covering, obviously, um, uh, from dinner time to bed time. What's the, oh, what's the normal protocol? The normal protocol is they stay on the Xbox until I call them for supper. Okay. Um, not all the yelling. Right. So there's uh, some uh, some some things that need to get done before dinner. In order to have dinner, yes. Right. <laughs> and then after dinner, uh, what typically happens? Um, they do put the plates in the sink, believe it or not. Okay. And then they go back and they play video games. So what I'd like to let you know is that she's going to do all the things she's going to do. She'll keep escalating up and up and up, and your job is to stay strong and not give in. Mommy! So when you're ready, let us know when you're ready by sitting on the couch. Alright. Now let me go ahead and show you how somebody would be sitting if they choose to eat. Because maybe they don't know how to sit properly. Okay? So what, what you have right now is you have one child who's ready to eat tonight. So this is all that you work with. What was the one skill that we want to have him do that was important to you? The bed's made. So, it's McKinsey, correct? All right. I'd like to say thank you for being able to sit properly because it sounds like or looks like you want to have dinner tonight. Okay? Have they shown you how to eat Oh, so you can see pretty good. Did you ever see your big brother make a bed? Did you ever see your dad make a bed? Did you see somebody on TV make a bed? You probably you probably saw yourself make a bed. Yeah, that's how you learn, huh? You watch yourself make your bed. That's how you learn, huh? Mackenzie, nobody's showing you how to make the bed. Only one. Okay. So you know what we're gonna do? We would want you to join us for dinner tonight. We're gonna actually show you how the bed is made. Then we're gonna mess it up, and you're gonna be able to monkey see, monkey do. You're gonna make it. Exactly the same way. So if your bed is ready, to whose standards? Yours or the parents? Yeah, smart oh, boy. We're, oh, I think I gotta sit down for that one. <laughs> Does that make sense? If you want to eat, make your what? If you don't want to eat, don't make your bed. That's how smart you are. You're gonna be successful either way. And what you want to look at is that the power struggle gets into the part where you're like. Uh, you have to do it. I don't want to do it. You have to do it. You don't want to do it. Um, it all comes down to what's the reward. And you got it three times a day. Breakfast, mm -hmm. lunch, and dinner. You know, like, and if they do kind of a, a half and half or rule defiant, well, picture in your mind uh, the primo dinner. And you know what that is, right? That's the primo. That's like their bed made perfect. Got some old kind of piece of toast. Right. Nice. If it's kind of half and half, like they did it, but it's kind of like they, you know, they didn't do it. Then they get a, like a, an average dinner. If they just like plainly didn't do nothing, well, you can't starve them. But then again, they don't get to have steak and eggs. They get a piece of toast and half a banana. Really, really good. He would love to join us for dinner. Is that correct, Mackenzie? Yes. Now, what if it's not to dad's standards? Do we whine or do we actually do it again? 
Okay, so what did, what, what? She wants me to show her how to make her bed. Of course. Okay, so she just came out really nice and said, I, Mommy, I want you to show me how to make my bed. Yeah. Okay, just a minute. She doesn't sleep in her own bed. She sleeps in our bed, so that's why hers is so clean. Oh, wow. She really has her towel in it, huh? Mm-hmm. So would you like to know what to do to be next? Come with me. Stand like this. Stand feet together, hands like this, right? Eye contact. Look here. And what we're going to do is we're going to wait for mom. Well, I'm going to stand here with you, and we're going to see who can do this longer. Are you making your bed? That's awesome. Mom, does this pass? Go ahead and look her in the eye and say, Mom, I'm done with my bed. Is, is, is it good? But you're still in it, right? So that could be like an average, right? That would be one, two, or four pieces. That would be two. It's so cool that these kids know all the right answers. Then you made it all smooth, it's tucked, it's tight, it's looking good. Mom goes, man, big hugs, kisses, whatever it is, because she, she knows you're a champ, you can do this. And you'd only make the bed look like that if you wanted how many pieces? All right, I love seeing things like this. That I, I love it because this is exactly what's right. So when the child wants to do everything for you. They love to, but they can't comprehend what is the right thing to say for a dad or a mom yet. Okay, so for those of you that are ready to eat, there's going to be sitting still, ice, and sitting properly on the couch. So, what would be at least that would make sense in order to stay and eat at the table and make sense for the parent? What's one? Yeah. Your okay. Your chair. All right. So, let's pretend. And this is the best part. Parents brains, kids brain. They. If you've never shown them, how do you how do you condemn a five-year-old for not knowing that they're not for rock the cart? So, it's dinner time. Have them come sit at the table. And how long will you be waiting if you actually get your plate? One minute. So go ahead and show me what that looks like. Mommy said one. You're going to do two minutes? Mackenzie is going to actually show us how to sit properly, just like he did here, only when he's ready. So what, what's really cool here is we've got one person ready. You can go ahead and serve up Sebastian. All they're looking for is acknowledgement. No, not that. Mackenzie? Right, just say Mackenzie. Mackenzie. I would love for you to have three, whatever you just said. Cucumbers. I'd love for you to have three cucumbers. What, what should we be doing in order to have that show up? And then it would say with Isabella, I would love for you to have two, two cucumbers. Two cucumbers. What How do you need to be yeah. sitting to get your plate? Tonight, my three kids all sat down at the table, ate supper in under half an hour, and it was quiet. It feels great. It feels like I'm not going to be holding my ball from pulling my hair out when my youngest is 18. I would recommend it to any other mother who is ready to go to bed crying at the end of the day because they dealt with the kids so much or they're just so exhausted from doing everything for them that they know they can do themselves. Uh, well, because of the program, I see myself being way less stressed, um, not yelling all the time, all day long, looking forward to the day instead of ready. 